Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to CodeSignal, work on the Python coding exercises. If you're joining us in the middle of the playlist, I'll put a link in the description below so you can start from the beginning if you wish. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to Arcade, going to Python. And then we were in uh, this section, Fumbling and Functional, number 39 here. So I left the code here where the ellipsis was. Uh, you need to sum up a bunch of fractions that have different denominators in order to do this. You need to find the least common denominator of all the fractions. As a professional programmer, you know that the least common denominator is in fact their LCM, least common multiple. For a given list of denominators, find the least common denominator by finding their LCM. So they give you an example here. Uh, so they give you a list and then they say uh, once you apply it, the least common denominator is 60, which is kind of pretty unhelpful because you don't know what's going on. So let's look at the code that they did. So you can see they're calling this reduce function from the function tools uh, package in uh, Python. And then they define, or in the code, uh, you define a lambda function xy, uh, x times y uh, divided by the greatest common denominator of x and y. Uh, so that's the function that's going to be uh, summed up with the reduced function over this denominator's list. So let's first go, uh, why did I use that calculation? So I looked at the least common multiple here in a Wikipedia page, and they had a nice calculation here. And you can see they define uh, calculation of the least common multiple as a times b divided by the greatest common denominator of a and b. So in their example here they got uh, least common multiple of 21 and 6. You multiply 21 and 6 together, which apparently is 126. And then the greatest common denominator of 21 and 6 is 3, because 3 is evenly divisible by 21 and 6, and it's the highest number of that case. So then you go 126 divided by 3, which is 42. All right. So that's why I have this lambda function here, where it's x times y divided by the greatest common denominator of x and y. So let's go into what this reduce function is doing. So I'm going to show you in an Excel here. So first thing it's going to do, it's going to take the first two numbers of the list, and it's going to calculate uh, based on that function here. Uh, x times y divided by greatest common denominator of x and y. So 2 times 3 is 6. The greatest common denominator between these two is 1. So 6 divided by 1 is 6. Then it's going to use that result from that first part, uh, and then it's going to put it in to the next part and go to the next number in the list. So 6 is going to be the x value in the, the function as it goes on, and it's going to go 6 times 4 is 24. The greatest common denominator between these two is 2. So 24 divided by 2 is 12. Then 12 goes into the next part of the calculation. Uh, 12 times 5 is 60. Uh, the greatest common denominator between these two is 1. Uh, so 60 divided by 1 is 60. And then 60 goes into the next part of the calculation. 60 times 6 is 360. Uh, and the greatest common denominator between these is 6, because 60 can be divided by 6 to give you 10, and 6, obviously, divided by 6 is 1, which those are both integer values that you get with no remainder. Um, so your final answer is then 60 for that, that solution. All right, so if we run the tests, we'll see that that's correct. Uh, and you can see in the other examples, I'm not going to go through all of this because it's a lot of calculation. But uh, so you might have to go through some more examples to really understand what Reduce is doing. But uh, I hopefully I gave you a little bit of an introduction, and hopefully you'll join me for future videos. Thank you very much.